you doing? How you doing? How you doing? I'm doing good, but how you doing? So today I'm so excited because I'm finally back to cooking videos, tutorials. You guys ask me all the time, how do I keep these games? Um, what do I eat for vegan? So I told you I was going to start my videos again. So with that being said, today I'm going to be making tempeh. Um, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite things that I love, uh, really high in protein. This has 16 grams of protein, um, per serving and there's only two and a half servings in this thing, which means you get to eat a lot of it or as much as you want. Um, and then I'm going to make that with some already made rice and beans that I made, which you can make in your crock pot or your stove top. If you don't have a, I mean a, a rice cooker, sorry, either one, your rice cooker or a stove top, whatever one that you have and that you prefer. So I made mine with stove top, just jasmine rice with, with kidney beans mixed together with coconut milk. Um, super simple to make that, but if you need a recipe for it, let me know and I got you. Um, so then I'm going to stir fry mushrooms with that as like a stir fry kind of risotto, mushroom risotto type with um, the tempeh. I'm going to put vegan cheese on top and what else am I going to do? I think some spinach or salad. So this is going to definitely be under 30 minute meal so no excuses for all y'all out there. Um, but this tempeh, I can't wait to show you how to make this tempeh because it's so good, so easy, and obviously really good for you, high in protein. Okay, so let's get this party started. And I'm going to start with the tempeh while I cut up my mushrooms, etc. So, first, first thing you want to do is heat your pan because this is what I did is I cut the tempeh into, um, four different squares. It's one long big brick and I cut it into four different squares. So what I like to do is spray the pan with coconut spray and I'm going to pan fry them first. Just dry. Completely dry with no seasoning. So it's going to be um, both sides on until it's golden brown and I'll show you of course. Um, just to completely get it like a little bit crispy before you add the seasoning and the cheese and the barbecue sauce and oh my god etc. So while that's heating up, I'm going to let these roast on there and then I'm going to cut my mushrooms. So that is, I just flipped it, just browning it with the coconut spray. That's what it will look like. Um, and then you want to turn your heat down while you make your sauce. While the tempeh is cooking, I'm going to start making my sauce and I have to show you guys Look at these cool new coconut bowls that I got and spoons and I got two spoons, two forks, um, and two coconut bowls. And this is all obviously vegan made from freaking coconuts, you guys. This is so amazing. They're all about being eco-friendly and all that. And it's just, it's so cool. I'm like so excited to use this. So I am going to, it's so nice and polished. I'm going to slip I'm going to make my sauce in here for my tempeh, so I will show you guys what I put in here. I'm going to put some of this sugar-free hickory barbecue sauce in my bowl. And then I'm going to add some sriracha in here. You could just add as much as you want, it's all up to you. And then I'm going to put some liquid coconut amino, or no this is a regular, liquid aminos in here. And then we are going to, oh, I chopped up some fresh garlic. So we're going to add some fresh garlic. I have some onion and herb that I'm going to add. Some paprika. And some smokehouse maple. vegan mozzarella style almond cheese that you're going to add on top 
while it's hot on the pan. When our tempeh is done, I have sliced up the mushrooms and I'm going to start stir frying the mushrooms and then add the rice for the risotto and then add it with my tempeh and a little side salad and you guys will see it all after. And just like that, you guys see that was under 30 minutes. I did that super fast and my plate is loaded with vegans. So my tempeh with my almond cheese on top and roasted garlic that has 16 grams of protein. This is half of a serving. My avocado for my good fats and avocado is so good for you, which is not only my favorite fruit, it is a fruit because it has a seed and it's amazing your fats that you need per day. My rice with mushrooms and spinach and kidney beans, which is also loaded with protein. Uh, mushrooms are great for you, obviously for your hearing, your ears, um, your skin, your nails, your spinach, your iron, your beans is your protein, your rice has protein in it, and it's also really good after your workout to have um, the good glucose from the jasmine rice. So everything you need right here is on your vegans plate, you guys. This plate alone has like well over 25 to 35. 25 to 30, 35 grams of protein for sure, if I actually counted it up for you guys. 
but I already know because I do this stuff daily. But anyways, this is a perfect example for you. Um, and to be 100% honest, I would take a bite for you into this plate, but this is actually for somebody else. I already ate, so I want to leave it presentable for them. But anyways, I'm so happy. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you want more tutorials on how to cook, what to eat, how to gain muscle mass as a vegan, I love, love, love to show you guys. And as you guys should know again, I do offer programs, I do offer help for food, for fitness, working out, um, you know, how to get enough protein, fats, carbs, to lose weight, all that stuff. Now, I'm not certified in nutrition, but I am certified in training, etc. So I can just give you like a guide of what to eat, but then I can also do tutorials like I am on YouTube for what I eat and what I put in my body to stay lean and build muscle. Okay, so give this video a thumbs up and I'll see y'all soon.